in nature. Decomposition is a part of the life cycle. Composting is the method of speeding this process up and controlling it to improve the soil in your garden. This helps the plants grow stronger and healthier without the use of synthetic fertilizers. Compost is a mix of organic matter such as leaves, brush, kitchen scraps, and manure that is broken down over time. Composting also helps our environment. Landscaping debris and kitchen scraps account for 20 to 30 percent of what ends up in our nation's landfills. Instead, these can go directly into your compost pile. Compost is great for your garden. It helps with water retention, soil aeration, and it provides nutrients for your plants. In this video, we will show you how to make your own compost and uh, the ways you can use it in your garden. For composting, you need a mix of organic matter. Let's start with what we'll call the browns. Dry grass and leaves, small twigs, brush, sawdust, and wood chips can all be composted. They provide the necessary carbon while greens, such as grass clippings and fresh leaves, provide nitrogen. So does manure, which is excellent for your compost, but you can do without it if you prefer. Another great source of nitrogen is the kitchen scraps you produce every day. A typical American household discards 474 pounds of food scraps each year. Most of this can go into your pile. All vegetables and fruits, baked goods, grains, coffee grounds and tea bags, spices and eggshells. Some food scraps shouldn't go into your compost. Meats, fish, oils, and dairy products shouldn't be composted as they attract animals, break down slowly, and will make your compost smell bad. To speed up decomposition, you need a mix of both carbon and nitrogen, or browns and greens. The simplest way to collect these is in a pile, preferably in a shady spot with good drainage. Layering is essential, altering browns and greens. If the conditions are right, the internal temperature of your pile will rise through the process of decomposition. This heat destroys plant pathogens and kills weed seeds. Ideal temperatures are between 90 and 160 degrees. Your pile also needs water and air. The pile must be kept moist. You want to be careful not to overwater your compost. It should never be dripping wet. The more you turn your compost, the more air it gets, making it break down faster. You should turn your pile weekly during the summer and monthly during the winter to have compost ready within three to four months. Another way of making compost is to build an enclosed or contained composting station. You can use different materials or designs. This one was built with discarded pallets. In the first slot, we have our layered organic matter. In the second slot, there is uh, our half decayed compost. And finally, the third slot contains fully uh, compost material that is ready for the garden. Compost can be used in a number of ways, as an organic fertilizer and a way to improve existing soil. You can add two to four inches of compost when tilling soil or preparing a raised bed before planting. It can be used as mulch for top dressing when plants are already growing, to preserve moisture and block out weeds. You can also prepare your own potting soil by mixing one part of topsoil and one part of compost. To make compost tea, you need two pounds of compost a five gallon bucket, an aquarium pump with two outlets, and a knee-high nylon stocking. Put two pounds of compost into the nylon stocking. Fill your bucket with water, plug in your pump, and place the air hoses inside. Then, place your compost inside to steep. Leave this to brew for 24 to 48 hours in a shady spot or indoors. Once ready, you must use your compost tea right away. It can be applied to your plants by a watering can or through drip irrigation. Today we covered the basics of composting. If you want to learn more about it, contact your local Texas A&M AgriLife Extension office. Thanks for watching and feel free to check out our other videos about gardening.